Asantua from needtoknow.co.uk. I'm here at the Novello Theatre in the West End of London to see this. Into the hood. Let's go inside and check it out. Hi, my name's Aisha and you are? I'm Rhymes, I play Rapunzel. I'm Bradley, I play Ensemble and another character which we will leave anonymous. <laughs> How did you get into this production? I auditioned three years ago um, for Into the Hoods, went to um, Edinburgh, Scotland, and then I re auditioned for the West End show. And who are Zoo Nation? The Zoo Nation, as far as I'm aware, they are a company which uh, does a lot of different different events, mainly based around hip hop. We mean we've been involved in things like West End Live mm -hmm. and uh, breaking conventions. So a lot of hip hop events, a lot of different kind of events, just to try and showcase ourselves and showcase the young young kids. Now, for someone who's never seen uh, the show Into the Hood before, uh, could you describe what, what they can expect? I think the show is, is, is very, very versatile yeah. in the sense that things like the music kind of range from like very recent music, you've got the Dizzy Rascal School and things yeah. like that, you've got like 70s music, you've got Shaka Khan in there, All so right. you've got a wide range of different musics with different age groups that kind of relate to it. A lot of our stuff is kind of based on like humour and stuff, so obviously everyone can relate to that, so it's very, very catchy to a lot of different people. Uh, now there's a couple of scenes where I've seen dances flipping off the side of walls. <laughs> And all this, how, how do you guys get to be that good? I think more so the guys are kind of gymnastics orientated. Yeah. So a lot of us do have like our individual regimes whereby we go training maybe once or twice a week. Yeah. Um, but then obviously we have to rehearse together for more of the choreography and stuff. But um, yeah, a lot of it kind of just started at home, flinging ourselves off the bed and off sofas and stuff like that. So yeah, it was a bit bad. I had a few broken beds. We're not encouraging <laughs> break, broken beds, not our gymnastics. Make sure you do your research, find out where the local gymna gymnastics uh, place is. Yeah, attend, you know? Okay. How young can you start in the nation and to eventually end up in the West End? 10, I reckon. I think it's about 10. So would you say that street dancing is becoming more accessible? Yeah, Rhymes has our own classes and I kind of teach as well. So we, we as individuals are trying to do more so that we can obviously bring in more or more kids can, yeah. can be involved so they know, even with this show, hopefully we're going to get, get some workshops going on. So if you check the website www.intothehoods.com, you should be able to oh, see so yeah, you should be able to see all the information. <laughs> I think our programme's got some info on the back on how you can get involved, right. classes, youth groups, everything mm -hmm. for adults and kids. Mm -hmm. uh, when you go out clubbing, you know, clubbing, raving or whatever, do you start like, busting out with all the moves that you've already learned? I like to go out, but I'm not, I, I, I don't go on the dance floor and start waving, I pop it, I try to backflip. Not, it's, it's all about just the music, and yeah. I love music, you know, that's what we, we, we drive on. To be honest, all you need is just jam, you know, you can do a little two step and. You know I mean? When you're on stage, you. A little, a little, just, just boogie, <laughs> we're just here, just boogie, you know what I mean? Just here, boogie. You can do it all night, any song, anything, we're there. Universal, you know what I mean? Taylor over here. Just now you mentioned earlier that the music is, you know, so diverse. You go from 70s music to music of today. Who, who chooses that? That's executive yeah. decisions. That's a director. At all? Well, kind of. I've got choreography in the show, so mm -hmm. obviously I've chosen that song for a particular reason or whatever, just as long as it goes with what it's about. If a young person wants to take up street dancing, what tips would you give them to take? I mean, I think the top top tips would be, obviously, I think, if you have access to the internet, mm -hmm. that's always a, a, you know, I mean, a, a good a good thing to just put in Google, search maybe street dance. Uh, we've got places like, you know, I mean, Sadler's World that do classes. Uh, there's different studios in like East London, South London. You can mm -hmm. kind of find them, it should be on the internet. There's ways on our website of contacting us as well, so mm -hmm. that if you've got questions or you want to talk or whatever. Any events, any hip hop events and things like that, just kind of ask questions. Mm -hmm. You know, people are around and say, oh, I really like what you was doing, how can I get involved, you know what I mean? So what is your ideal job? What are you doing already? I want to do a lot more choreography worldwide. I mean, I personally didn't never dreamed of coming to the West End before. I mean, my background was in drama. I think this is a very, very big achievement, but there's always kind of an another step for us to take so I'm just trying to keep on pushing myself but at the minute I think this is a very very big thing you, you, you put a note